experience so far in Pakistan and just being so accepted and loved by the people here is so amazing these people are so amazing these are the most beautiful people Muslim people how many of you would take a Muslim you don't even know and bring them into your home without judgment and give them everything that you have and more Maybe if you don't even have anything to give. Or to see a Muslim person and to help them out. Anybody, this world needs to wake up. And you can learn so much from these people. And I'm just praying and hoping to God that through my experience, through the things that you see that I'm experiencing, that you change your minds. That you start treating every single person as an equal to yourself, that there's no difference. It doesn't matter what they believe, what they dress like, what culture they're from, what caste they're from. If they're living on the streets, you go and be kind to that person and you love that person. <laughs> and you treat them no differently than your best friend, than your family, than you would want somebody treating yourself. Please world, I just pray and beg that you see through my experiences the beauty and what it is like to truly connect to humanity. This is life. This is life. Very happy, very happy, very happy. Some people live their whole lives never really having lived a day in their life, only realizing once it's too late. It took falling to the pit of despair, losing all hope, and crying out for a miracle. To dive headfirst into the great unknown. And little did I know what awaited me was home. I suffered enough. This wasn't just a quest across Pakistan. This was a journey to the depths of my soul, breaking free the life of strain, finding peace, releasing the pain. Through my travels, I have witnessed truth from vast lands, kind hearts. My mind's been soothed. And finally knowing my life's purpose, I could never find it on the surface. But deep within, I had to go to find my God, my hope, my home. <laughs>